If y'all have been following along, you would know that I got into gardening about two years ago. I started at my townhouse with two small raised beds on my rooftop, and then I moved into this house and I had to leave those behind. And like any other thing in life that I show even the, you know, the smallest amount of interest in, I obviously had to take it to the next level. So I did quite the backyard transformation and I decided that I wanted not one, but four different types of gardens. We have a vegetable garden, we have a raised bed garden, we have an herb garden and a cocktail garden. I am taking y'all along on every step of the way to my backyard transformation, to what garden beds I've used, where I'm getting my seeds from, my favorite nurseries in Dallas, how I actually plan where to plant what and what to plant, and who I'm following online that I've learned from and more. I mean, we get very specific. So I hope y'all enjoy me taking yet another hobby way too far, okay? With this in-depth how I started my garden video slash honestly a backyard transformation video. It's December 29th. Just come back from my spray tan. We're setting up the beds today. I have one normal garden bed that's from Amazon that I already have outside, as you guys have seen. For Christmas, I asked for Vega garden beds. I found them on Instagram, not sponsored, I wish. I follow a lot of accounts on Instagram that use them. So we're setting them up today. We're also setting up this. I looked this up on YouTube and it looks like we can do it. Really becoming a handy girl this year. I know this will come as a shock to y'all, but I'm not really the most handy girl around, okay? I grew up with a father who taught me delegation, taught me work smarter, not harder, hire out so you're able to, you know, do the thing you're good at and make more money, okay? My mom, on the other hand, she actually is Bob the Builder herself. Her father was a contractor, so this is like right up her alley. For whatever reason, my dad wanted us to do this together and it ended up being a great bonding activity wasn't the hardest thing in the world. Definitely took more than 45 minutes a bed, but I will say, I mean, it's not rocket science, okay? So we got it done, all right? And it looks great. Right. I also need, like, I'm gonna trip back here. Like, I need this to be something else, you know? Yeah. Well, you can fix it up, make it really look nice. You're gonna need to hold that. It's crazy how big this side yard is because it's not even, I was thinking it's going to take up the whole side yard. It's going to take up half of it. Okay, do that last one at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, you All got right. it. Here. The AC I always try to... It's going to be on the inside. And then once I'm eventually completely out of home projects, maybe I finish off the attic. I still have this thing. Okay, it's the next morning. We only set up one bed and the wagon, and by that I mean my dad really did. I helped, okay? This might seem extra. I mean, this entire video seems extra, but the reason I did this is because it's a lot to lug the soil bags all the way from my car all the way back there and around and all that stuff. So anyways, I just thought this would be helpful, especially with like other plants. We'll go outside later, but this is the first garden bed. I love them, honestly. They're really long, but I forgot how long this side yard is. So part of me is like, do I do more? Day two, and we are back with garden bed number two. We are showing my mother that, you know, there can be multiple Bob the Builders in this family, okay? And that's us, me and my dad, my partner in crime, okay? And then we are bringing it to the backyard. It is a little unfortunate that my side yard is on the complete opposite side, you know, for myself, the lazy person here. Thank God I'm so strong now. Okay, we're gonna have to go up over the top. Woo! The weightlifting. We but we're bringing it around. I'm very excited and everything is looking Woo. incredible. Besides that grass, that is driving me insane. All right, guys, we're almost done with our first two beds. <laughs> okay, I forgot I actually did ask for a six in one and a nine in one. So they're not exactly the same. This one's a little bit smaller. The cool thing about these is that they have a bunch of different configurations. This one you can make in six different ways, that one in nine. I'm only interested in this, but still cool. That's a good girl. Hey, Coco. You're so muddy. Oh, God. It's literally 6.30 in the morning. I just got out of the sauna. We're gonna go measure outside. Also, by the way, I actually do have the Vaco Garden mugs, and these mugs are 
the best mugs ever. They're big, they're perfect, I love them. We're gonna go measure because my brother-in-law is going to do my new pavement in the garden. I'm trying to stop talking with that fucking influencer accent. It's driving me literally insane. Sorry, I shouldn't say fucking hates grandmas, watch this. So y'all already know, I'm pretty sure that I wanna do a new pavement situation here. These just feel a little tricky, a little unsafe, honestly. So I need to measure this out for my brother-in-law. Nine. Oh, hi, Fitz. God, that terrified me. Did you see your weight? Two by two. Yeah, I'm really kind of big. And I cannot take myself seriously. My plan is we're gonna get two by twos all the way down here. Let me get my flashlight. Place these rocks with two by twos and then come out probably about 30 inches. It's about 400 inches down this way. I also just did the math and we have room for two more of the nine in one beds. So that'll come to about right here, which will be perfect. So the pavement that I wanted done in the garden is happening today. Ah! This garden is truly a family affair. Sophie's here because her dad, my brother-in-law, is the one who is doing this. Hello. Hello, everyone. Are you gonna help me garden when I have a garden? Yeah. Really? Yes. We'll see about that. I'm gonna show you this clip when you're like 13, okay? Okay. So I have some inspo. I wanted 24 by 24, just like big stones. I also just found out that Vega Garden, by the way, is Dallas based. I had no idea. So hopefully I'll have my other garden bed built soon. Okay guys, all of this stuff has arrived. They're making multiple trips to Home Depot. Thank God for my brother-in-law, seriously. He also did my fire pit, which they're gonna add more stones to it today. Just because I think we do need more. But it's going to be little stones throughout this entire thing and then big stepping stones pretty close to the actual house. So it's gonna be just better overall. I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous about stones everywhere. I don't know. The grass and everything, it's all muddy and gross over here anyway. So I feel like it's definitely the best option anyways. I don't know why I'm nervous about it, but we'll see. I am gonna get two more nine in ones from Vega Garden right here. So it's gonna come out pretty much to the AC unit. Hey guys. It looks so good. So we have two more garden beds coming. That's why the tarp is still there and the garden, you'll see what I mean. I'm literally just sitting here staring at it because it looks so amazing. Okay, are you guys ready? Wow, so much better. So when the other garden beds get here, we're probably gonna add more rock and it's gonna end up, I forget the word, but basically we'll add more rock as time goes on and then it's gonna be fine. These stepping stones are just 18 by 18 stepping stones from Home Depot and it is so much better. Like I want to get one of those little cute tables to like sit back here, but I am obsessed. Like it's even better than I thought. I, I didn't even know really what we were doing. I had a general idea. I didn't realize we were doing it all the way through and thank God. God, like always listen to other people. It's February 5th and we have started working on my seating station. Looks a little ugly right now. We're gonna get a skirt that goes all around this so it's gonna be cuter. And I need to do something about these wires. Maybe put them back there or something. Um, but I will make an Amazon storefront of everything that we use. I got these grow lights. They didn't have the four foot option so I had to get two of the smaller ones. They're really easy to set up, highly recommend. I have this little board back here that has like planting schedules. So that's for cut flower and then that's just like normal. Oh no, that's both cut flower. I don't know where the other one went, but anyways, um, I ordered more seating trays. They're arriving today and Myga and I are going, this has to go. These have just been sitting outside. We're going to do a whole thing she's found online. I also got this grow food. I follow a couple da like Dallas uh, gardening influencers that I can link below and I cannot remember whose storefront I use, but I basically just bought everything she had. This timer will be nice um, for the actual lights and I might like flip that to the side and figure it out. I also got this heat map, but um, with everything that's happened in the past month, I didn't end up using it. It's warm now. So anyways, have that. And then I have some labels so these markers are garden markers who knew and then we're labeling everything so we're gonna start seeding i don't even know how long it's gonna take before i can actually like plant them but right now the rest of my garden beds are being built and those will be done today which is very exciting coco's just sitting on the love sack watching me hi girl 
Yay! We got these pots today from at home and they're so perfect. Ignore the lights in the garage. Y'all know the drill at this point. I got this big one for, I got a tree of life as a gift from a friend. Um, it's a Southern Magnolia tree. I just love this pot. And then I got this size too. I think they're so cute. For Christmas, Maya got me this really cute basket from William Sonoma. And then, I don't know where she found these, but look at how cute. Cause I love anything that's like, oh yeah, Maya, there's a pruning thing in here. Um, I love anything. It's like colorful and pattern now. And these are the cutest thing ever. So I'm very excited. In the midst of this process, Micah and I found this store, Nicholas and Hardy. This is my new favorite store in Dallas. Conveniently, it's right next to one of my needle point shops that I go to, okay? It's on Lovers, Nicholas and Hardy. They are incredible. They have the best plants. I've been getting a lot of stuff from my actual yard. And I know they have the best seed selection. So if y'all are looking for seeds, I highly recommend. I've also been getting compost and trying to get soil, mainly compost, at local nurseries. Um, I know Walton's is great. I just, I've been Googling the nearby one and grabbing from there. So anyways, that's where I've been going locally. Okay, it's February 5th. Here is the garden update. It's pretty much done. These two, I had to hire someone to build them, but honestly, they're not difficult to do. It's just hard if you're one person and I just have too much going on. So anyways, we have potting mix because we're gonna use as much of this as we can. And then I have like a hundred bags of organic soil coming. I think tomorrow so this will just be like the middle ground and these are worm composters and i cannot make that up and then this i everything is vega garden i'm obsessed with vega garden um this is a little like toolkit how amazing so this one just got built today that one yesterday and then you guys have already seen those these are all of my garden beds um i don't know where i put the top stuff for those two so i've got to find it but yesterday we also had some people come over with firewood because basically to fill all of this with soil can get really expensive. So you just fill it with other matters, like halfway with wood. Then there's like a whole chart thing that I found in Big Garden. So anyways, I really do need more wood. Um, so that's getting taken care of in the next like probably 24 hours. But we've got this big, big things happening. I just need to find the black. It's somewhere in my house. If not, maybe I'll be able to order it. But anyways, these, oh God, I feel like this is, oh, whoa, oh no, they dented my thing, my garden bed, when they threw it yesterday. Oh, no. So this is going, I don't know if this is, this looks Vago garden, I think it has to be. Um, I'll, again, I'll link everything, but this is going to be my herb cocktail garden situation. So I really like this. I think the placement is perfect too. And I love the color. It's really big, but it's gonna be great. Cause then if I'm grilling, I can grab stuff there. And then also if I'm cooking, it's just right outside the kitchen. The way my garden is, I don't want it to be all the way in the garden cause it's just a longer walk. I know this is so lazy, but I'm just trying to make it more practical. Maya, do you think right here is a good place? I mean, those are gonna have to get taken up. I like it there, I think. Today is seeding day. So I got some packages of seeds from Epic Gardening. If I didn't get things from Vega Garden, that's where I got everything. I also don't know if I can film this yet, but this is the Dallas Garden School, North Texas Garden Planner. So it has calendars for like for when you should start seeding and transplanting, and then um, graph paper for your garden plans. 
and then also just a list of things most likely to succeed. It's actually really been super helpful. I've also um, bought some of her classes online and have just gone through them. But anyways, really like it. And obviously for me, it's really helpful. So if you guys live in Dallas, definitely recommend. But anyways, I got the florist cutting flowers set. And then I also got heat tolerant vegetables. We went through my last night, marked all of these. We went through which ones we're going to use um, and start seeding now. I can't wait for eggplant. I love cooking with eggplant. So today's the day. I loved this part like this part is so therapeutic I actually just started a new batch of seedlings if you will um, and it's amazing so you want to get your soil wet so it's a little bit more compact put it in your trays I got all my Amazon and then I just like poke a hole with my finger in every single little compartment and then that's where I put the seed and then I put the soil over it's very simple very easy but it's very therapeutic I just put on some home worthy home tours on the background okay and uh, I had a great afternoon it's a, I love doing this part it's like one of my favorite things to do I would do it every day perfect lady you want to go outside huh? or melon oh yeah that would be big no, eggplant for sure. Eggplant's my favorite thing okay. that I cook with. All right. Um, so you think all these... So these are from the florist cutting flower collection of seeds. And this is essentially how I'm gonna lay it out. I don't know if my garden bed's gonna be big enough or whatever, we'll figure it out. Um, just based on the different heights, but it looks so pretty. Okay, I just finished seeding my six tray. This is very easy. Um, but it's also very therapeutic. Oh, I haven't covered these with soil yet. This one is going to be my herb garden. So I have an herb garden and then I also have a cocktail garden. I am not drinking a ton these days, but I think even if her mocktails are fun, they're great for hosting and entertaining. Like my friends and I, we kind of like the act of like making drinks better than even drinking, honestly. I need to figure out the best way to organize these. I cannot recommend this enough. My grandma gave it to me and she says she thinks she got it from Walmart, but it's so nice because you can just move this around, use this, break up the soil, add the water. You want to add a lot of water so it can like stick together a little bit better. So here we have my heat tolerant vegetables. Then we have the cut flower garden here. We have my cocktail garden, and then this is all of my herbs. So this is the seeding station, and this is my first time doing this, but honestly, really liking it. And then we're gonna try, we were originally like putting these up kind of in the location that they're in, we don't really need to do that. I think I might just pin them all together for like vegetables together, cut flower garden together, like all that stuff just to keep it more organized. And then I might make a calendar and put it on here. Okay, so what I've decided is I've just put them in four separate bags since it's really for four separate areas of the garden. And that way I can just like reference it very easily. I do still want to figure out, I don't know, I wanna do something up here that's a little more organized but I don't know if I'm really going to, I don't know if I'm gonna transplant them all at the same time or what, so we'll see. Seating station tour, potting bench, seating trays, and then I just have a lot of accessories. I'm really excited for the skirt to be done. I think it will be next week. I go ahead and throw these in the beds. I'm gonna focus on the three over there that don't have wood. <laughs> guys 
so filled up these two this is my six by two that's my eight by two and it took about 10 bags to get about halfway i definitely will have enough soil once it makes its way back here and i'll start just been breaking it up a little bit i need to obviously do more but feeling good okay guys it is the day i'm going to pot i guess all the soil that will time it let's see how long it takes i have about 70 bags here is my little garden helper in her sweater. It's a little chilly outside. Okay, it took me about 50 minutes and 50 bags. This one is all soil, so it would have taken less. I didn't put the composters in, they're just sitting there. Um, I'm gonna break it up a little bit better later on, but it's looking good. Also, I'll have to add a little because gonna end up compacting so I do have about 20 over there that are still left unused and then I have one more bed to fill for the time being I do think I'm gonna add more pots and stuff I know this is so crazy um, but yeah all right y'all it is now February 9th so it is quite a bit later I actually just shot my new merch how cute and then my new mug if y'all don't know I have a podcast of the house guest podcast sophie is back and if you guys can remember early in this vlog she said she was gonna help me with the garden so today we are amending the beds with compost correct, correct. and then she's getting a trip to the american girl store but and i get 30 dollars well we we'll talk the money yeah yeah for sure yay yay wait i didn't even tell you you get 30 dollars Yes, you did. No, you made that up just now. We'll no. see. We'll see how hard you work. It's been raining like crazy, honestly. Mm -hmm. The past like month and a half, I would have transplanted the plants already yesterday or earlier this week, but it was pouring the entire time. So we are just now amending beds with compost. I got them from a local nursery. I hear that's a lot better. She's getting bribed with PR. Sophie and I are learning how to amend the beds. So basically, we're just doing another layer of compost or of, like soil. Um, and getting the beds ready, breaking it all up. And I think two days from now, the plants are getting transplanted. Before we do that, I'll give you guys a little update on the seedlings. They're looking amazing. I will say they just got watered a little bit too much, so they're not looking amazing right now, but don't worry, it's gonna be fine. Let's go do the garden. Let's go. I read that once they have like two or three leaves, you should transplant them. So we're definitely behind on schedule and there's definitely too much water going on. They normally look a lot better. So anyways, it's looking great. I'm hoping that the water is gonna be fine, but I'm really impressed. We have some of our bags of compost. I calculated how many I needed based on the Dallas Garden School, which is where I get most of my information. Here we go, here is the garden. We have some bulbs already going. We've got a lot of white, or I think we have sweet onions and red onions. Also, I just wanna say I completely forgot to put the worm composters in. Okay, so, I'm gonna go clean the pool. Okay. Oh God. Okay, two bags per empty bed. Ugh. I got it. This is too heavy, I got it. I break these bags open and we're gonna. Ooh, can I wash them? Yeah. Okay, I think I thought I need to wash them. You definitely will. So, you? Like I'm doing it. I'm dirty. And now it's just rubbing it. Can I use my hands? Yeah. It's like I'm making like cookie batter or whatever. I'm gonna all go open up next to the bags. Huh? Woo! Garden is fun. It's fun, Candy. I love it. You do? Yeah. Oh, that's so good. So, so much fun. You wanna break it up? So there's no chunks because the chunks will hurt the plant's growth. Can I give it to you real quick? This is a good strategy. Yeah, it is a good strategy. Betsy, come here. Betsy. This one is really full, but... We'll work with it. We'll work with it. It kind of is what it is. Oh, oops. Yeah, Girl, did you just throw soil at the fence? Yeah, I was trying to break up the parts. Oh, that was creative. Very creative. Yeah. Thanks for your help, Soph. Welcome, bye. Always so helpful. Bye. Bye. 
All right, so I did about two bags of the compost. Which, okay, I think it was one bag of two cubic units per nine square feet. So it's about two per bed. That one down there only got one just because it was already so full of soil. So anyways, these feel pretty good. I think that they're ready for transplant, um, which I'm so excited for. Update on my gardening journey. I'm absolutely loving it. I'm not even like fully out here yet. I'm my welcome to my garden sign that I got at a thrift store and then I ordered this antique looking hose holder from amazon i'll have it linked in my um, garden storefront it's monday february 11th and we are finally transplanting today i believe most of the plants they definitely could have been transplanted already but we just a lot's been going on so i'm very excited that there's actually going to be things in my garden mike is almost here and then we're gonna get to work okay here are the seeds now okay Shoot, I didn't realize that we only have these for this part of the yard. You know, because the other one will be cut flower. These will be ready. We gotta smooth this out better. Let's get going. This one is the right tool for this. Do I? I have one more bag of compost. Should I put compost probably in the herb garden, right? It won't be that much water. I know those rocks have to hurt. This whole thing is all. Don't I need a. I'll get them out. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Paul built this thing on our tomato plant. Oh, no. No, I think I messed this one up. I like, I'm... This cucumber on here. Can't be put it too close. They get huge. I think on TikTok, like people just—it's called the chaotic method. It's already, but I'm, you see how? Look, see how that's leaning over? You just pull the dirt underneath. Underneath. Because a lot of them started growing towards the light, so that was my other issue. Right. And then I, how much should I water them? Like not a whole lot, just you know, with your sprinkling. Yeah. All right, y'all. We just transplanted all these so quickly. I still have two more beds that are gonna be completely open. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do potatoes here and then I kind of wanna try out the chaotic zinnia trend that I'm seeing everywhere for um, just like cut flower garden stuff. So I'm gonna see what cut flower garden seeds I still have in the garage. I might try that out there and then eventually I'll do potatoes. But now it is time to to my cut flower and my herb cocktail garden. flower garden has been transplanted it's looking good my back hurts I'm quite literally 80 years old um, but hopefully this works guys like again I'm a beginner I'm doing everything that I've read pretty much so I have hope garden slash cocktail garden is good to go the left side is more cocktail the right side is mint I mean herbs mint is in the middle I am worried about that because I know mint goes everywhere it looks like really beautiful my gardens are alive and good to go 
even i got so lucky guys with that hardening i'll never do that again make sure you harden your seedlings i got very lucky the vegetables are great things are growing it's a couple weeks later and things are looking good i actually did do a little chaos gardening if you guys follow me on tiktok at kinsey the texan y'all can keep up to date let me know comment below what else i should plant in that empty garden bed i really want to plant more things i've already got more seedlings happening in the in the garage but like i need more okay um garden bed everything's looking good flowers are looking good cocktail garden's looking good um and i just i love this so much gardening has been such a great escape for me and it's been very therapeutic so anyways if y'all have not already be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the garden love y'all and i will talk to you in my next video